determination of static pressure, airway comp uh, static compliance, airway resistance, and auto peep on the 840. The Fairbenton 840 has two buttons on its front panel, expiratory pause and inspiratory pause, and those two buttons are what we're going to utilize to be able to do these measurements. The first one, by pressing and releasing the expiratory pause button, it shows that the maneuver is undergoing and displays the auto peep in this case, uh, the actual measurement and the total peep. If you'll notice, there is a slight variance between the measured peep that it's seeing and the set peep, and that's just a little bit of artifact using the Tesla. So here we have a, a auto peep of 0.1 centimeters of water. Hitting unfreeze will release that. To do a static compliance measurement, we have to be in a um, situation where we have a square wave flow pattern. And again, the simplest method to do this is using the sandbox on the bottom. If I touch vent setup and continue, I now can create the, the desired settings that I want to have because I want to have a square wave flow pattern, but I want my inspiratory time to remain 1.28 seconds. So to do that, I need to reduce the flow so that it's showing me a 1.28 inspiratory time at 33 liters per minute. Now I hit the accept button. I wait until it delivers that square wave breath apply an inspiratory pause, then I can go back and hit vent setup, previous setup, accept. And at most we have two breaths then that are delivered at a square wave flow, flow pattern. But now it's able to measure through that plateau, my plateau pressure, my static compliance, and my airway resistance. And the reason for the incomplete exhalation is that it's saying that the volume that was, in, was placed inside and the volume that was read back as an exhale volume had a little bit of variance between them that can just simply be due to the test line. So that's measurement of static compliance and airway resistance on the Puritan Bennett 840.